Tesla not only created a device where spirits or extraterrestrials were communicating with him, but he put it on the market. It was called the Spirit Radio. And of course, Edison had to make the ghost phone in competition. Tesla used to work for Edison, and then he ventured out on his own, and Tesla's alternating current beat out Edison's direct current, and he was super bitter, never forgave him. And of course, Edison's bombed. It was like ridiculous. It was like a light bulb and a plug in box, and a huge room full of people. He even had mediums, and you know, nothing happened. However, Tesla's was successful big demonstration and he was able to bring through actual spirit on a wireless device. There was no electricity running through it. It ran on electromagnetic energy because Tesla was smart and the real deal and he understood that sound waves were electromagnetic energy and whether it was the human spirit outside the body bound by quantum mechanics, the laws of it, or just extraterrestrials, it's all energy. How are the archons described, which are the extraterrestrials going through? Twisted energy. I'm going to play you the sound in it. In 1901, an article he published called Talking with the Planets, he disclosed that he was picking up signals from Mars when it was closest to Earth, that this happened every 1.8 years. He discovered this when he was tracking storms. Now remember, the top of a storm emits antimatter, so it makes sense. And he disclosed that extraterrestrials are real, that they've been controlling man since the beginning. And this was a very ballsy move, like being a man of science and the science industry, like back in that day and era. And of course, it was used against him. He was gaslit with it, not just from Edison, but J.P. Morgan, too. J.P. Morgan wanted to sabotage him. J.P. Morgan was actually funding him until he found out that it was a free energy project, which would not agree with his pocket and sabotage his finances. So not only did he pull funding, but he made sure all the other elites wouldn't fund him as well. Tesla specifically said that he wanted to bring free energy to underdeveloped parts of the world to foster communication between nations. Does that sound like something the American government will allow? He was basically harnessing the technology of the pyramids. He was bringing the water through the earth, through this copper wire, and with the alternating currents. It's harnessing the resonance of the earth through water caused by the tidal gravity of the moon. And do you know what Edison did with these alternating currents to discredit him? Public demonstrations where he killed cats and dogs to demonstrate that it wasn't safe. In 2019, Eric Wilson published a study called Large Scale Thermal Acoustic Generator in which he describes how granite and other rocks, when it vibrates, it carries the molecules through the rock to the surface and creates power. This sounds very much like the description of how the pyramid stones were levitated through the tuning fork that shot out the water at a very high vibration and rearranged the molecules in the rock and allowed for the sonic levitation. Now, strangely, a Tesla documentary is where I noticed this little hieroglyph that looks just like one of these tuning forks that was described by Matthias De Stefano. I mean, he did a little computer graphics image of it, and they're actually comparing it to a Tesla coil. In Nikola Tesla's very early career, he was working on one of his transformer coils, and it electrocuted him. Three and a half million volts. He almost died. Somebody working for him unplugged it, luckily. But when this happened, he said he moved through time and space. Time stopped. He could see into the past, the present, and the future all at the same time. Tesla said he got his ideas from a universal database that held all knowledge, and anyone could tap into it if they knew how. He said he would get these ideas, just hit them like in a flash, and it was almost holographic. He could pull things apart, put them back together, almost just like a little demonstration in his mind. He was working on basically a tic-tac UFO, an anti-gravity flying machine without wings, and this was early 1900s. He also invented a death ray, a plasma weapon that he was trying to sell to the U.S. Instead, they chose Einstein's atom bomb, but I'm sure they chose Tesla's at some point as well. Right before he died, he was working with Albert Einstein and the U.S. government at the Philadelphia Naval Yard, creating an invisibility cloak for the USS Eldridge using these Tesla coils and plasma around the ship. And the ship relocated, and when it did, men's body parts had morphed into the ship. In my opinion, this is proof that the Philadelphia experiment did exist, and this is why those 20 boxes of his research was confiscated by the U.S. government the second he died. died. 